Hey, how y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your brother Bolo V, and now we're on a 2.0 platform. Good morning. <laughs> Came across a very interesting um, reaction <clears throat> from Marlene Malahu from a question a reporter asked her in regards to some comments that Minister Everett War Warmington made about the media let's look into it remember to like share and subscribe and do remember that also um the donation link is pinned at the top of the comment section if you want to bless the platform it is paypal it is anonymous and um yeah it's always pinned all right let's get it in such a way that it never looked good you have not heard another word out of the government to say it was unfortunate that a member of the government said particular things about the media. Mm -hmm. So here the journalists back are up today in the corner, here are response. Here are response, Mapid. Listen to Mapid. Minister, mm -hmm. in recent times, there have been attacks from the political circles on members of the media and media houses. Are you concerned that this will affect our ranking in the uh, press freedom ranking and you've been deadly silent uh, despite people calling media houses politically aligned and naming journalists as being linked to parties why, why no comment from you minister no. now the question <clears throat> that he just asked is because of these statements that this man made right here mr ever warmington so we're gonna get into the statements that he made let's get it I'm here to say, you know, in my drum. What's the most say about that? The media and the PMP destroy Edward Siana. If you didn't hear what he just said, he said the media and the PMP destroyed Edward Siaga. Alright? <clears throat> the media and the PMP destroyed his group. He said the media and the PMP destroyed Bruce Golden. The media and the PMP, he, I think he said it's their intention, I'm paraphrasing, to destroy the greatest leader ever in Jamaica. I don't know who the hell he's talking about, but yeah. You're not just gonna lie to me and I believe what you're saying. Who the hell is the greatest leader ever in Jamaica? I don't know who that is. I, do, I know it's nobody that's the leader right now. I'm sure about that. But he must be talking about somebody in the, in the distant past. All right, but let's continue. <laughs> He was chastised by some of them. You mean you said things that um demanded scrutiny? <laughs> you mean you're not taking any responsibility? Just like you're not, you, you, Siaga shouldn't take any responsibility for the truth that the media told. Bruce Golden shouldn't take any responsibility for the truth that the media told. I know. And Jonas doesn't want to take responsibility for the truths that the media is telling. Hmm. I'm witnessing a trend here in this party. Lack of accountability and not wanting to take full responsibility for the things that they have done. <sighs> We're going to clip that up. In the public, yes. and Angela, yes. the open air is destroyed and Jonas and the public. He says he will not allow it to happen, okay? The Gleaner and RJR? Whoa, wait a minute. So he naming names? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Hey, RJR, it's not, not my words, all right? 
this man is the one you should sue if you're planning on suing. I'm not saying what he's saying. I'm just reporting. Listen to this. The Gleena and RJR. Damn. Embarrassing. <laughs> he needs some milk. Man, shots fired, man, at the Gleena and RJR. Wow. Hey. Hey, Mr. Warmington. Stop it. Get some help. All lies will be exposed. Stop it, That's man. all. Stop and, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it Stop the wrong it. way. Stop it. We can never do anything to suit them. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not under the power of God. No, he will not. And I know the power of God is powerful than anything y'all trying. So, yeah, not gonna happen, Captain. Not gonna happen, Captain. I can tell you that right now, talking about third term. And I see them in my comment section. Man, I just breeze past that and send them a generic message. Keep watching, all right? Cool. Get upset if you want to, but uh, yeah. All the prophecies, oh yeah, y'all gonna be pissed. <laughs> All of y'all, man, boy, I'm trying to tell you, everybody that's capping for this dude and, and not calling out the foolery and the wickedness, oh, all of y'all is getting the smoke from God. I can tell you that right now. Lord, have mercy. As a matter of fact, he ain't trying to have no mercy on y'all because he don't want us to pray for y'all. Y'all better repent and pray for yourselves. Sheesh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he said anything. When the people is not served, you will get our enemies. The media is wolf in sheep clothing. Wow, the media is wolf in sheep clothing? Damn, he really went in. That's the first time I'm listening to this. What? Damn! Hey, he not holding back nothing. He, man, he's spraying, bro. All types of hits the media getting in this one. Wolf and sheep's clothing. Damn. I want to Bro, what is he talking about? Who said there was something in the report that said he earned his money through um, people's tax dollars? That's not the argument. <laughs> oh, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. Oh, this is pathetic. I don't want to hear no more of this. Let's get back to the to the clip, man. You heard him. He went off on the media. And uh, let's go back to this brother's question that he asked this lady and Let's see how she moonwalked around the question. Listen to this. Minister, mm -hmm. in recent times, there have been attacks from the political circles on members of the media. I just showed the attack from Everett Warmington to give you context. Let's go. And media houses. Are you concerned that this will affect our ranking in the uh, press freedom ranking? And you've been deadly silent uh, despite people calling media houses politically aligned and naming journalists as being linked to parties. Why, why no comment from you, Minister? No, well, you haven't asked me. So here I am now. You asked me. Oh, no. See, see, she's an all cap boy. This lady's a cap. Stop the cap. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. 
No bullshit, bro. Ma'am, you think you slick. Listen, the man doesn't have to ask you a question for you to actually address something that is clearly going on in the mainstream media. Something that your counterpart said that attacks the mainstream media. Why haven't you guys denounced him? Why haven't you guys scolded him and said, no, 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 no. This is not how uh, government officials of class operate. No, you know what you did? You about to moonwalk, shape, shift. I'm talking about all types of, um, what they call that thing? Um, when you, when you project your body through walls, I'm talking about all types of escape tactics from this question. Listen to this bullshit. Then you're going to talk about, oh, uh, you didn't ask me the question. Ma'am, he ain't got to ask you a question for you to make a statement and denounce the man and say, no, 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 no. That's not how we operate. So stop the goddamn cap. Let's let, let's hear this foolishness. Um, the reality is that this administration is very much committed to press freedom. And I think everything we have done has demonstrated that. That's not what he asked you. He asked you, why didn't you guys say something to this dude when he attacked the media? And I think even just our commitment to even these Wednesday morning meetings is very much um, indicative of that. No, 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 no. He's not talking about the Wednesday morning meetings. He's talking about people making statements outside the Wednesday morning meetings so you can answer or make a response and let it be clear about where the party stands with those types of statements. Come here every Wednesday, invite the media, we bring ministers out, we take every question, whether they're hard or easy, we take them, we don't run away from the media, we believe that um, the media is absolutely important to democracy, very, very important. We know that the media is important to democracy, so why is a member of your government attacking the media? He called names, we're still waiting on the answer, ma'am. And so we support the media. Oh, uh, no, 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 you do not, based off his statements that you did not denounce your actions does not support the media ma'am um and when we talked uh, i know you spoke about um attacks on the media that is never ever acceptable oh is that so so if it's not acceptable why didn't you call out mr warmington when he attacked the media make it make sense these are empty words coming out of your mouth. As a matter of fact, somebody could say based off the actions and the words that you're flat out lying out your teeth, your eyes, your ears, your skin, everything. Period. At all. Never acceptable to attack the media. The media is very important and they play a very... See, you see how she's shifting her eyes. She don't believe what she's saying. She don't believe what she's saying. All lies will be exposed. Mm -mm. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who something? takes that the wrong way, know why they Ain't take it the something? wrong way. Important role in our society. And I have to say that over and over again. And I've said that here. The reason why you got to say it over and over again is because nobody believes you. Because your actions do not match up, ma'am. Your ministry's actions does not match up to you guys actually thinking that the, the media is necessary even when they're speaking against their prime minister if he's being investigated by the integrity commission and, and they're doing their journalistic work to say you know this don't look good when they do that you guys ostracize them and call them out and then you don't denounce the person that did it post cabinet many times um in terms of what we see on social media that's a, that's an issue. And our no, 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 no. They didn't ask you about what they see on social media. Now you're going to try to campaign to shut down social media. This is where she's going with it. Oh, it's unfair to Mr. to the prime minister because he's been in, he's been investigated by the integrity commission and now the media, the, the mainstream media and social media is running with it and they're not stop talking about it and making us look bad and we need to try some way to have a dictatorship so we can stop them Man, shut up respectfully prime minister has been on the record saying that we have to look at social media and look at what is said and what is posted why do you need to look at what is said and what is posted is this a dictatorship ma'am sir what the hell is going on? And we've seen it exacerbated with AI. 
and uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Now, how did AI come into this when Evro Warmington made a statement? Bruh, you can't make this up. Hey, who on earth is this? Hey, check this out, man. Stop it. Get some help. That is sad, bro. That is sad. Colonel noted that, you know, technology is a double-edged sword. It's beautiful when used for good, but it can also be used for very negative things. Yeah, like when Everett Warmington talked about RJR and talked about, uh, what's the other, the Gleaner? Like that, that he did. Why aren't you, addre why aren't you addressing that? You telling us what we already know, ma'am. This man came out here and he didn't he didn't say it is my opinion. He flat out said that the PMP and the RJR, they are work like he's insinuating that somehow both of them tear down Siaga. Both of them tear down um who else did he call? Bruce Golden. And now they're trying to tear down the Prime Minister. It seems as if you're in agreement with him. Because at up until this point. I haven't heard anything definitive from you that said I hear you defending his statements based off your your rhetoric that you're speaking right now. I don't hear you um denouncing the nonsense that he spoke out of his mouth. All right? I, I I haven't heard it yet, but let's continue. Things. And I think that conversation that our prime minister tried to start about um, the social media and what we say on social media and having accountability about what was said is something that we how about having accountability for all the money that you guys can't find the 700 billion dollars in the healthcare system just to start the 50 million dollars that royal reed allegedly is in well not allegedly is in court for in the, ed in the education is it royal reed is that's his name the minister the former minister of education how about that? How about the 400 and something plus million dollars that was wasted for two buildings? And we still don't know who the hell owns one of those buildings. How about all those monies? How about the millions of dollars that is that is unaccounted for that cannot be be be, be verified in the minister in the in the prime the minister um, prime minister's office? How about all these things, ma'am? And there is so much more I could talk about, but I'm just saying how about being accountable for that then we can have a conversation about social media right because the hospitals ain't ish the teachers are running away our nurses are soon gone next right the farmers are we're in a food crisis right um the economy is going to hell and y'all up here talking about social media right all the things i just mentioned are facts and if they're not facts there's good question behind all those things to say, wait, wait a minute, what is going on? Seriously, make it make sense. We really do have to look at. And so it is in relation to the media, but it's in relation to many other areas. We have our children being bullied on social media. What the? Hold up. How did we get here? How did we get to children being bullied on social media? What the? Ma'am. The man asked you about comments being made by Evro Warmington. How did we get to children being bullied on social media? This lady is not, this lady doing the hula whoop. She doing a slam dunk and she moonwalking at the same, at the same time. Forward and reverse in the same spot. Up and down, making an X. What the hell? She doing the impossible. What? And it is something that we have to address. We have many other instances on social media where things are said of people that are untrue. And we have to really, as a country, decide what kind of country do we want? What country do we you want? You know what kind of country we want? We want a country that has a leader that actually can declare his statutory declaration. And let us know where the hell he made his money from. We want a leader that has accountability, that has integrity morals ethics and values we want a leader that does not flat out lie to the jamaican public on a regular basis let me tell you what can that's the kind of country we want. we want a country that has a leader like that we want a country that prioritizes education and i'm talking about not giving out not giving out um scholarships in um not giving out student loan in the skies i got uh, in the skies of, 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 of scholarships allegedly right we want that we want a country where our our prize the main man 
a man as as not as large as Bob Marley, but very very close. An icon. We want a country where icons' money are protected, where there isn't scams that is ripping off a man of such iconic nature in our country. That's the type of country we want. You understand? We want a country where the politicians give you a time stamp and say within a hundred days this is what i'm going to do and in a hundred days it is done not not still unfinished after six thousand plus days gone in office that's the type of country we want so miss me with the foolishness talking about kids we ain't not man what man yo hey yo man what hey who man is this yo man <laughs> Boy, I'm trying to t boy, I'm trying to calm down right now. And so I again reiterate the importance of the media, the importance that we do not attack the media as they do their very legitimate work. And there are many people in the media. They're wonderful people. I see them here coming through postcab. I get them WhatsApping me and calling me all the time. They are doing their job. Even if it's a hard question, they are doing their job. And so this administration is very 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 sure that we support the media and we will continue to support the media because we believe that a country that's truly committed to democracy is one that supports the media and does not put up with anything that undermines the role of the media hey boy ain't no fucking way boy boy ain't no 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 way, boy. Yo. Boy ain't no fucking way, boy. Bro, if anybody come in my comment section, bro, and tell me that I stopped the video too much, I'ma block you. I'ma block you from my channel. I'm telling y'all right now. Every single stop that I made was essential. Every point that I made was essential. Period. Do you see this lady did not answer the damn question the man asked a while ago? Right? Right? How did we not hear a statement from you, ma'am, when this man came out and attacked the media? You telling us that you don't you support the media while not supporting the media. What? Listen to my minister. Mm -hmm. In recent times, there have been attacks from the political circles on members of the media and media houses. Are you concerned that this will affect our ranking in the uh, press reader ranking? And you've been dead. Press reader ranking. She never answered that. It's silent uh, despite people calling media houses politically aligned and naming journalists as being linked to parties. Why, why no comment from you, minister? Why no comment from you? Not that we, we want to ask you a question for you to give a comment. Why didn't you give a comment before a question was asked? And listen how she starts off. No, yeah, well, you haven't asked me. So here I am now. Oh, so it's his fault. God damn, bro. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. So essentially, if he didn't ask you a question or the question, you would never have addressed it. Because it is not that important for you guys, right? It's just something that he did and low-key you guys really, really support him saying that because deep down, that's how y'all really, really feel, allegedly. Oh, Lord, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Man. Let me know. Please like and share the video. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Ain't that something? And see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.